My name is Carol and I'm a medical anthropologist. I was born and raised in the U.S. and I always knew there were worlds beyond what I knew. And I was always curious at other ways of living or being. I, something about the modern world that uh, for myself, uh, I was concerned, I felt like people weren't always connecting with each other. And I saw a lot of sadness, even though there was a lot of wealth surrounding me. And my journey took me to the Himalayas across the world, and I ended up making a life there for 30, 40 years. Um, I was really fascinated. We went up into the high mountains to study polyandry, which is where one woman marries all the brothers in a family. So there'll often be a woman with four or five husbands. So very complex social dynamics. And I was fascinated to understand how they could make something like that work. And as I got to know the women better and their emotional lives better, uh, I felt like anthropology can be a lot of taking. And I was said, well, you know, how can I do anything of benefit? How can I ever thank you for all this time, all these meals you've given me over these, these times, working in the fields with them, spending a lot of time. And they used to say, we need money, you know, we need money. We need to, you know, how, how, how can I educate our, my kids? I want a better life for my children. How, how can I do that? You know, can you help us? We need funding. And that's not easy question of how do you help a woman in a rural part of the Himalayas um, to have a better economic life. It's not such a simple thing. So I was young and naive, but uh, I tried to work on certain income generation practices. And uh, we worked on small projects with women. And out of that, I also then became more close with the women and they would share a lot of their medical um, histories and the challenges of uh, losing many, many children. They have one of the highest infant mortality rates in the world, unfortunately, in this area. A lot of women would die in childbirth. So I became very interested in the herbs uh, that women use traditionally up there, especially obstetric and gynecological herbs and plants. And uh, out of that, I became very interested in how they helped to work with their children and health and in healing. Um, and, but I never forgotten out of that, I actually started to work on income generation using the herbs that come from the high mountain areas. And we made a social enterprise project. So things women could make with their hands, simple soaps and essential oils and things like that. And we made a cooperative of women and still running it today.